Hello, hello! In this video, I have scrapbook process number mm, 14, I'm gonna say, to share with you. Um, I will talk about the photo in a minute because I'll talk about what I'm doing right now. Um, so again, I am using the Prima Marketing Frank Garcia Saint Tropez collection, which is such a mouthful, and we're just gonna call it Saint Tropez from now on, okay? And I was going through all the cut apart sheets because I am pretty useless at remembering to use cut apart sheets and choosing some bits to use from there. And that cut apart you see me fiddling with there, I decided to fussy cut the whole thing because I really like that little octopus dude squid. I'm gonna go with octopus. He's like this kind of that freaky looking octopus and he's copper foiled and yeah, I thought he would go really well with this layout. There's also some leftovers from the last time I used this collection. So just doing a teensy bit of mixed media I'd actually done something already with blue acrylic paint and the packaging technique on another layout and was using the leftovers of what was on the packaging still and added some Heidi Swap Color Shine in teal and some light blue acrylic paint. And I know technically it looks like I'm doing the packaging technique inverted commas wrong, but I actually wanted those lines for once. I, I did want them. Um, the photo isn't in shot, but basically it's a photo of two of my nephews, there's four of them in total, but two of them um, at the beach and we were all down there and they were chasing the waves, which is what they love to do down there. And it was a really, really splashy day, so much so that both my brother-in-law and one of the eldest nephew got their feet soaking wet, which was hilarious. But um, yes, the in the picture it doesn't look that splashy, but it was really, really splashy. So that's why I was making that look like that and throwing down some colour shine in teal and in ocean, appropriate name, um, in splatters as well. I know we usually do splatters at the end, that's the thing to do, but I did it at the beginning and the end on this one. How exciting is that? So there's the photo there. If you saw my last process video with the Sandra Pay collection, it's actually a very similar photo, sort of them the, the subject silhouetted against the shoreline and it's because it's actually taken in almost exactly the same place just in two years different time so this was taken about a month ago and the one I did before was taken about two years ago so yes that's why they look quite similar but I really like this is actually a photo I took usually I use other people's photos but yes I really liked the sort of slight greyness of this photo which is why I wanted to use that really strong blue in the background to sort of contrast against that greyishness so as you see I am using choosing some cut aparts and stuff and I decided to do a cluster of different things around the back of the photo so I backed it with the waves pattern just the light blue waves pattern because that would again contrast against the dark blue uh, paint background and then I put lots of different bits behind the, the the matted photo as well so just sort of sticking out different angles and stuff rather than doing layers or anything like that that's what I'm doing and as you can probably see from the title of this video I love you to the beach and back is my title yes so there's no alphas used in this one I just used what was on the cut apart sheets so yes that is what I did so what else am I gonna do I did a bit of distressing with the distress tool oh, I love that tool so much it's one of my favorite things um, that one, in case you can't see it for some reason, says hear the heart of the ocean in every wave and both of those phrases are copper foiled, so yay. Um, that cut apart there, the one that says take me to the sea, I was so desperate to use that because I really like the colour of it and I like it, what it says because my nephew, my sister's family, that sister's family don't live anywhere near the sea so when they visit we always go to the sea because obviously they want to see the sea. So I thought take me to the sea was appropriate because it just reminded me of them and what we do when they come down and stuff um but it's really big that cut apart like it was too big but you'll see what i do about that well what i tried to do about it was as was fussy cut it but after that it was still too big still it just took you drew far too much attention to itself so i wanted to get rid um, you can also see I've fiddled around with some ephemera pieces there, figuring out where I want them and stuff, and there we go. I found the 6x6 version of the cut apart sheet, which has that take me to the sea on, so I fussy cut that, and then it was all little and cute, and it, yay. So, I win. I win against you, large fussy cutting thing, yeah. Goodness me, I'm sad. Right, 
So what else am I doing? Just figuring out where to put those ephemera pieces and stuff. That octopus, I really do love that guy. And I thought he was appropriate for a layout with my nephews on. They're eight and 11. The octopus is kind of scary and gross. That's what eight and 11 year old boys like, things that are scary and gross and creepy. So I thought he was particularly appropriate for this layout. And because it says, I love you to the beach and back, it's a bit too meh for eight and 11 year old boys. So just adding that little bit of grossness and there we go, it's appropriate. So mix of uh, double-sided tape and glue dots on Octopus Dude. He needs a name. His name is Frank. So some glue dots on Frank, um, including some little glue dots on his little t tentacle thingies that are sticking out because otherwise they would pop off and get ripped in later years and whatnot. So yes, that's what I did. Frank, the octopus. And I used a shell, uh, which is blue foiled, and a crab because then there were more creatures, if that makes sense. So yes, let's just pretend there's a hermit crab in that shell and there's lots of sea creatures on this layout. That's kind of what I was going for. Um, that ampersand there is also blue foiled and I put that little phrase, which I can't see what it says on my screen, but I put it at an angle just because I'm hip and cool like that. And then just like last time, I used these Paper Mania Glitter Dome dot things um, instead of the enamel dots that came with the range because they were too expensive and these were a pound or a pound fifty. Then some of these sort of greyish flat back pearls just to add another something, dimension, whatever you want to call it, just, just for prettiness. The grey worked, I think, well. And then just finishing off with some more colour shine splashes because I wanted the splashes to be on top of the the cluster of photo and embellishments as well as behind it because it just reflected the splashiness of the the day and the photo and stuff so yes there it is another saint -Tropez layout my goodness i love this collection so freaking much there's frank the octopus hey frank and there we go so thank you so so much for watching everyone and i will catch you all real soon bye, -bye.